guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, I know that I've been at MIA for a while, but um, I'm back and I'm ready to do some videos. Um, yeah, I've just had some stuff going on lately and kind of just like, I don't know, like all together just kind of lost my motivation there for a little bit to uh, do makeup and I don't know. So I haven't been posting any pictures or anything like that and um, I'm sorry for the lack of, yeah, of my presence. So, um, but yeah, I got a computer yesterday and I'm just ready to get back in the swing of things and start making videos and yeah. So, um, anyways, today is not really anything like special. It's just kind of like getting back, uh, into the whole makeup world and, um, also learning how to use my video, uh, editing software because I haven't really, um, messed around with it too much. So I figured I would just make a video, see how it goes. I'm going to post it no matter what, whether it's stupid or not. Um, but yeah, so, uh, this look today is just kind of like warm on the eyes, a metallic kind of burgundy lip. If you can't tell, I'm still stuck in the fall because this is so not a springy look, but I don't really care. Um, yeah, so if you want to uh, learn how to do this look, then just keep on watching. All right, guys, so to start off this look, I'm going to start with an eyeshadow base. I'm using MAC Paint Pot um, in Soft Ochre, and then I'm buffing that on my lid. I'm using the Sigma. Um, it's the small 3D Kabuki brush, and then I also use my finger to buff it out because I think the warmth of your finger just blends it out a little bit better than just the brush itself. So I do that and then I'm going to set my eyelids with any kind of powder. You can use, you know, uh, skin colored eyeshadow or translucent powder or whatever you have. I'm still getting used to these voiceover things and I just feel like I'm so awkward. So now I'm going to go in with my Sigma E40 brush and I'm starting with the color Beaches and Cream from Makeup Geek and I'm using this uh, just as a transition color so I'm working that into my upper crease. I'm going to do that on both lids until everything's blended out. This just makes it easier when you go in with darker colors so it doesn't get too harsh. I feel like I'm never going to get used to this whole voiceover thing. I just feel so weird and I feel like my boyfriend's listening to me thinking that I'm an idiot. Okay, so now I'm going in with Chickadee from Makeup Geek. Um, this color is amazing and it totally looks like macaroni and cheese. And yeah, I mean, who doesn't like that? So I'm going in. This is another transition shade. Um, I love warm colors like this. So again, I'm taking this on my E40 uh, blending brush from Sigma. It's pretty much a staple brush to have just for blending out shadows. So I'm doing that on both lids. You guys are definitely going to have to let me know what kind of stuff you want me to change in my videos. Like I said before, it's like I honestly am not familiar with any of this software, just any kind of thing. I mean, I'm literally teaching myself how to do this and I don't really know. So give me some advice, guys. I feel like when I do these voiceovers and I watch myself in the video, I have no idea what I'm dancing to. I don't remember what music I was listening to. Okay, so now we're going in with our Morphe uh, M441 brush, and I'm taking the color Tiki, which is one of Makeup Geek's new shadows. Um, it is honestly probably my new favorite shadow. It's such a pretty color. It's like, it's kind of like a mixture between uh, Chickadee from Makeup Geek and I think Desert Sands is what it's called. Um, Anyways, I love this color. It's amazing. So if you don't have it, you should definitely check it out. So I'm just buffing this in. As you can tell, I'm kind of just going down the shades from lightest to darkest. And then I'm just taking my E40 brush and just blending everything out. And then I'm going to go in with, um, this is Frappe from Makeup Geek. And I'm using my Morphe uh, M433 brush and I'm just darkening up that outer V area to give it a little bit of depth. I don't know if you guys can tell but I might have a slight obsession with Makeup Geek eyeshadows. I use other eyeshadows but I don't know I just always go back to Makeup Geek. I just love the quality of them, the texture, the way they blend out like I don't know I just I haven't found any other eyeshadows that compare. 
So if you guys haven't already checked them out and gotten some of their shadows, I definitely recommend just start off getting like one of the nine quads and get your basic neutral colors. Okay, so now I'm going in with my MAC 242 brush and I'm taking the color Luna from Makeup Geek. Um, this is from the Manny Makeup Artist palette, which is an amazing palette. Um, and this color, I think, is a limited edition color. I think it's one of the ones that he created and it's such a pretty color, I can't even deal with it. Um, so I'm just sweeping that all over the lid and you know, just making some weird faces. Um, this is one of the foiled eyeshadows and I just, I love the color payoff with these. I love that foily like metallic look. I just think it looks so good on the lid. And if you want to intensify the color a little bit, you can always use a little bit of like Fix Plus or you can even use eye drops or whatever and you just put a little bit of that on your brush and it'll just make it look that much more intense. I know what you guys are all wondering, like how my hair can look so good in a video and I'm just like, you know, you guys think that I'm just like showing off my great um, styling skills. Um, yeah, I don't really know what was going on here. I kind of was just like in bed and I was like, hey, I'm gonna make a video and that's what my hair looked like, so you're welcome. Um, so I'm going in uh, on my inner tear duct and I'm using the color Rapunzel from Makeup Geek. Um, I know you guys are getting sick of me even saying the word makeup geek because it's getting a little repetitive here. Anyways, um, let's see, I'm going to go in with my Sigma E40 brush and just buff everything out, make sure there's no harsh lines and whatever excess product is on there is fine. Alright, so now I'm going to go in uh, with the color Frappe. Um, this is going to be on my Morphe. M432 brush and I'm just gonna put that on my lower lash line to kind of deepen it up and make it a little bit smoky. Um, I don't typically put very dark colors on my lower lash line or in my waterline at all just because my eyes are really small and it makes me look really squinty. Uh, so here I'm taking my Sigma E54 brush. It's a medium sweeper brush and I'm just using that to buff out the colors. I'm using the color Tiki to buff out that frappe color kind of diffuse it a little bit so it's not so harsh. Then I'm gonna go in with my Morphe uh, M433 brush and just kind of buff everything out. Whatever excess product is on there is fine. And then I'm gonna go in with my NYC Black Liquid Liner. Um, this stuff is amazing. And I think I saw Crispy use it. That was the first person I saw that used it. And I'm all about cheap drugstore makeup, like wherever you can use it. I mean, there's definitely products that I think are better if you use, um, you know, higher end stuff. It just depends on what product you're using. I haven't really been able to find very good um, eyeshadows uh, drugstore, but um, I love this eyeliner. It's amazing. It doesn't flake off. It's not shiny. And I think it's like two or three dollars. So honestly, you need to go and get that because you could be spending like $20 at Mac or Sephora or wherever and this stuff is amazing. So I'm just going in and doing a simple line. I'm not doing any wing or anything because this look is all about the lashes. You'll guys, you'll, you guys will see what I'm talking about when I put them on because they're amazing and I just found them at Ulta and I can't find them anywhere else and they're the best lashes that I've ever seen in my life. So now I'm gonna go in with some mascara. Um, I think this is like Maybelline and I can't remember what it's called, but any mascara will work. I'm just coating my lashes because I'm gonna put on fake lashes. And yeah, so um, now I'm going in with these Ardell Double Up Lashes in the style 206. Seriously, these are the most amazing lashes and I'm so mad because I've literally been trying to find them everywhere and I can only find them at Ulta and sometimes I don't feel like going to Ulta. I'd rather be able to go to CVS by my house or Walgreens or whatever and I can't find them. So I'm thinking about ordering, and I'm not kidding you, probably like 12 pairs of these lashes online because they're just that amazing. Like, can we talk about it? Yes, yes. See, I'm yassing in the video. I Okay, so now I'm going in with uh, Lime Crime, one of their Velveteens in the color Fetish. Um, this color is so pretty. Um, it's kind of like a mauve -y, like darker, almost like cranberry color. Um, it'd be perfect for fall, but 
I'll wear it all year round. Um, I also put the color Charmed over it, which is one of their pearly lipsticks, but um, I totally forgot to record it, I guess. So anyways, it's a really pretty like metallic color and it goes perfect with it. So that wraps up this look, guys. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video and thank you guys so much for watching. I'm gonna try and have some new videos out soon. So stay tuned for that and love you guys. Bye.